See, it's something which happened in the family, and I always looked up to Bajipa because he's a legend. It was a good experience for me because I knew uh, the thin line between of foolishness and bravery. It is just that I played the game very aggressively the way I played against Australia or uh, any other opponent for that matter. Right. So he just became Arvajan Singh, and I became Shri. So that's it. क्रिकेट की दुनिया से बैन होना स्पॉट फिक्सिंग की कंट्रोवर्सी में फंसना पर अपने टैलेंट और हुनर से हमेशा उभर कर आना और लाइफ में कभी भी गिव अप नहीं करना आई एम इन कतार टू एंजॉय द लेजेंड्स लीग वेयर आई एम मीटिंग सम ऑफ द मोस्ट आइकॉनिक क्रिकेटर्स फ्रॉम अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एंड ऑन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द लेजेंड्स आई एम मीटिंग श्री शान Welcome to Kohli Tales. <laughs> How is it going in Qatar? <laughs> going is gone very difficult actually. We should have been great yeah. if you could have won the finals, but yeah. uh, that's how sport is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But yeah, we should have done slightly more better. So, mm. but <laughs> beside cricket, Qatar has been wonderful because uh, wonderful people, wonderful culture. Yeah. We went to the old Qatar side also, so it, it's very good food. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yep. and lot of my cousins i mean it's literally like gcc uae and qatar is more of malayali crowd so yes. wherever you go i end up meeting one cousin or the other so it is nice <laughs> so, so abhi bhi you are still that good old competitive aggressive when person I'm on, on the, the field. when i am on the field yes <laughs> when i am on the field uh, even with my kids uh, i have my daughter who is 7 my son is 6 yeah. even when i play with them i am i teach them um, that uh, spirit because uh, yes uh, experience is everything winning yeah. and losing is a part of life but yeah. uh, you got to keep improving right uh, if you don't mind losing <laughs> you don't go to the next level so i believe that even to my kids i don't lose uh, i want them to keep improving yeah so yeah so that's that's me hmm. okay tell me about your childhood you've been talking about your kids but i want to know about your childhood uh, spent a lot of childhood in kerala am i right no i born in kerala born but kerala, i'm brought okay. up in bangalore i went okay. to uh, florence international in bangalore for an public school at never Right. Then I went off to play a bit of minor count in England. Came yeah. back was in Chennai in MR of Case Foundation. Yeah. So yeah, I mean I'm I'm very very close to uh, Kerala obviously. Yeah. God's own country. Um, they when I used to play for the country they used to call me God's own son, oh. but an angry young man. <laughs> so uh, even uh, I remember uh, even uh, Bachanji for that when we when I met him oh you are the angry young man of. cricket so that was like a big compliment for me it was yeah. more like winning the world cup where yeah. amitabh bachan sir is literally <laughs> addressing me the way yeah so being from kerala state and being a malayali i'm really proud and yeah. honored to have been representing my state so right. yeah 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 you, you see malayalis everywhere even abroad like you mentioned yes uh, i i do i see middle east everywhere yes yes uh, even <laughs> when i won the when we won the world cup in 2007 yeah um even the I still remember the SMS that time. It not, that is not uh, some SMS which went viral. Was uh, Miss Bahulak forget the fact that there is a Malayali in every corner of the world yeah. because I was the one who took the catch. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Malayalis across the globe and uh, more than Malayalis, I think Indians are everywhere. That's true. I think we kind of rule uh, the world and we. But I think better than rule. I think we are the someone who shares our experience and makes a better world a better place. Absolutely. Are you a foodie? So when you are traveling, are you looking for some nice Malayali food wherever you go? Not, or no. Not not just Malayali food. I love to experiment with different different uh, foods uh, yeah. and uh, yes, healthy foods. Uh, but then, when if you are in the middle of like a legends league, uh, yeah. um, you do you do try the different cuisines and uh, you. Uh, especially Suresh and we we are kind of a group we don't really go alone to any uh, any restaurants it might be murli vijay uh, now in this trip it was yeah. more like murli vijay myself robin we all some even pragyan oje for yeah. that matter we went to this random mall and villaggio so we just kept experimenting with different uh, uh, chinese italian we just keep expanding but my favorite uh, yeah. food at end of the day as you said anywhere in the world any culture amma's food yeah. the, if it is home <laughs> home food yes genuinely even in my house <laughs> My favorite food is whatever my wife and my mom makes, huh. and uh, they both are really brilliant uh, cook or chefs, I must say, yeah. because they cook a lot of variety. Uh, so even when I travel around, uh, I love to go to a house and eat their uh, local food. Like घर का खाना. हाँ घर का खाना. घर का खाना. Yes, absolutely. So घर पर Sunday brunch पर क्या बनेगा? Like if it's like a nice Sunday siesta. 
I think I'm more of a breakfast, lunch. Uh, brunch is more of that lazy Sunday, you know? Yeah. So I am not into that lazy part of the <laughs> life. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people ask me, I'm going to retirement, now I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, but I, I don't know. Um, I'm not a brunch person. I'm more of a breakfast, lunch. Oh. But I didn't see you at breakfast today, this morning at the hotel. Here? Yeah. yeah. No, today, I did have my breakfast. You had? Yes. Okay, maybe our timings didn't match yeah, today. Yeah, you, you just sit there breakfast from 6.30 to 10.30, no, right? No, no. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> then I can always lie, yes, I was there. <laughs> yeah, but I don't really skip breakfast. I love no? my breakfast. And okay. I want to rewind a bit and want to know about your journey. Okay. So, every Indian kid either wants to be a cricketer or an actor. You've yeah. become both. No, I'm still, journey is on, yeah. <laughs> journey is on, but yeah. Uh, what did you want to be as a child? Was it a cricketer or an actor or was it just to be famous or popular? I just wanted to be famous and popular. Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I wouldn't say I did something for the love of the game. And I think when I said this in like long back in 2005 yeah. or six, when I played for the country, everybody asked, oh, you're playing for the country and what do you think? Uh, what made you take this cricket? It must be the love and passion. So I said, no, I wanted to be famous. And my manager was like, Shri, please cut it, cut it. Shri, kya bool rahe, yaar? Say love for the game, passion. Yeah. But then I said, yaar, it's me. I genuinely want the people to know the truth because I wanted to be famous. So I tried my dancing part, my acting, mm -hmm. uh, singing in schools, luckily in Bangalore or in Kerala culture is that they have youth festivals, you have yeah. festivals. You know, you, I never shied away from failing. Hmm. So for me, it was more of learning. Okay, so I tried my bit of singing in yeah. school. So kept on moving around in different, different art forms, sports forms. Then I said, okay, uh, let me just go and experience cricket. Hmm. And I gave what my, one of my cousin brother, he's in US now. So he told me, you go to school for eight to nine hours, go to ground for eight to nine hours. So I did that and I ended up playing for the country. So that is more, I mean, that's the easy way to say it, but yeah, yeah a lot of hard work. Yeah. But I think I would love to share this all the whoever is watching, even as an angster or a grown up, yeah. because yeah. something which I believe is don't hope for the best, mm -hmm. believe that you want to be the best. And the belief system comes with a lot of good work ethics and self belief system where the routine, you don't uh, fool around with your routine. That's why I said I'm more of not the lazy side. It's yeah. nice. Once you become a celebrity or once you become a slightly famous guy or a mm -hmm. girl, they got this habit of telling the young world, oh, it's okay, I have a lazy Sunday, I have a lazy Monday. Yeah. But we don't realize that there are youngsters who's watching you, sure. you know, and their parents are trying or giving them the best knowledge saying, okay, get up, you need to be a sunrise, sunshine, you should get into the sun. So there are things which people, we, we forgot to say. Yeah. So I am more in that other zone where my parents have thought that whatever we have taught you, hmm. try and share it to the world. So True. I think that's how I was grown up and uh, I'm, Really grateful that uh, I could be a part of arts and sports. Yeah. And I tried a bit of politics also. So, yeah. Literally covered all the three <laughs> in India. <laughs> so, yeah. And dancer as well, right? Yeah. You're really I, fond I, I, of but, dancing. But I used to be a professional dancer till 10th. Uh, then I left dancing for the game. Because yeah. I took up cricket uh, very seriously. So, in Hindi, what will happen in Hindi? What will happen in Hindi? What will happen in Hindi? Absolutely. So your Hindi is also quite good, huh? Mary, uh, yeah, my my wife is from Jaipur, uh, Shikawat. Uh, so in the Hindi mein hai. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Hindi is in Hindi, wo bhi, huh? <laughs> That doesn't come very naturally to South Indians, I have to say. Nahin, but <laughs> South India, North India, wo sab bolne mein hai na. Magar hum sab Indians hai na, to wo aisa hona chahiye. Or uh, school mein bhi, in ah. South you have uh, the third language is mostly in Hindi. Hindi, yeah. So yeah, but that was the uh, I think the least mark I got was in Hindi. <laughs> when I was in school, that time my girlfriend didn't have Hindi. After the marriage, she got a little more Hindi. Then she got a movie and Mahesh Bhatt Sir had a movie called Kya Bre Kar. Then she got a little more Hindi. And now you have to talk to them in yeah, Hindi. So, yeah. Yeah. so now we are going to play a fun game, which is called Who's Who. I'm going to name a few animals and you have to tell me which cricket player represents that animal. Number one, shark. Sachin and Ruga. Elephant, domineering, but you know, has its own pace. Uh, VV is Lakshman. A wolf. I always called myself wolf. Really? Yeah, okay. Because I love to be this alpha and <laughs> I like to lead and, yeah. uh, you know, not, not 
not as a captain or whatever, but what I meant is Wolf because he will stand by brotherhood. I will always believe in brotherhood, so I'll take that Wolf for me. Yeah. But if not me, then Hardik Pandya. Yeah. Okay. And Wolf is always a great team player. Yeah. Sure. I will so. give it to Hardik Pandya. Okay. And lastly, Tiger, somebody who's royal, <sighs> confident, courageous, and yet Mr. calm. Mister, uh, <laughs> Mister Yuvraj Singh. Yeah. Yeah. Or right now Virat Kohli. Yes, Virat yeah. is the tiger. Yes, and I want him to win this IPL also this season. Your first job was what? And your first paycheck? Given that you've had such a diverse career, politics, acting, cricket, dancing. About this, I just had a conversation with Murli Vijay yesterday. Hmm. So there used to be this place called Apple Day. So it hmm. used to be a, a fitness center in Kochi and. Uh, um, I used to t- teach aerobic dancing uh, for 50 rupees a month. So for one person, it was 50 rupees a month. I'm mean, talking oh, okay, uh, 90s. Rupees so per person. Yeah, okay, 50 rupees okay. per person. And how person. many students did you have? I had 16 students, and okay. one of them used to be very, very famous actress. I don't want to name. Oh. So she became a very big actress later. Huh. Uh, so uh, yeah, I can say I was. The ah. teacher, when I see her moves, I'm like, oh, that's me. <laughs> so yeah, it was right. I, I, I don't know. I, I always, uh, and that was my first, my first paycheck was I think that 50 bucks, 50 rupees. Uh, I can't really say check it was cash. Yeah. Yeah. So I used to get that 50. I, I did that for almost six, seven months. Yeah, and that happened before the world of cricket happened. Yeah, still. no, yeah. I was playing. I was playing uh, under 19s and for that, oh, okay. and I used to do umpiring. I used to go and uh, one of my coaches said, "Go do umpiring. You'll get 500 rupees a day. Uh, go stand there in the sun and learn what they do, what we can do better." Yeah. So I did a lot of umpiring. That's interesting. You know, now do you recall your first day of being a part of the Indian cricket team? Absolutely. I I completely uh, re- recall because it was the day in Nagpur. I made my debut uh, against Sri Lanka on uh, 25th October. What was the team welcoming? Absolutely, absolutely. I I was fortunate that I could. Uh, Uh, win the king of the series, like the man of series, just before the tournament, uh, where the legends played, uh, yeah. Sachin Paji to, uh, you know, everybody was there. Seva, uh, Gambhir, Lakshman, uh, you know, everybody. Uh, you were saying the best of the best were playing the tournament. I could win the man of series in that tournament. Yeah. And I could win. Uh, I could get Sachin Paji out. I could get you, uh, Yuvraj Paji's wicket and. So obviously, when you do performs performance and then you walk into the dressing room, it's the uh, atmosphere is different. Yeah. And I was playing for Indian Airlines, so I knew most of the cricket as well. But yeah. on 25th October 2005 in Nagpur, when Sachin Tendulkar gave me Sachin Paji, this is what we call him. Yeah. So when Sachin Paji gave me that cap, I think, um, yeah, that was to more like a, yeah, I clearly remember. And he said, yeah. uh, you are here, and you totally deserve this cap, and never ever doubt your ability, and keep believing. And even now, when I sign autographs or something, I, I, I always write, keep smiling and keep believing. So if, uh, anybody can do it. If yeah. I could, you can. If you can, anybody can. So it's just a matter of sharing, and that's something which I learned from these legends. Yeah, but you know, looking back, one thing we used to always watch out for when you were playing were your expressions, your reactions. You know, Those we would nice. add like a lot of drama. Even now, even now, <laughs> even now, when I that's what I said when I walked in also I was. <laughs> This interview is actually more relaxing uh, because <laughs> it's not. I'm not able to take the fact that we lost, you know. Hmm. So it's it's the same. I'm just the same. I I think it's you should not hide your feelings. And people say maturity is keeping a strong face. Not really. Our maturity yeah. is not being scared to yeah. show your emotions. Hmm. Maturity. Yes. Don't say the things or uh, which you doesn't need to say. But yeah. uh, most of them end up saying what they want to say. Yeah. So I think I have learned the only maturity thing which I have learned is that you should speak what you need to speak and not what you want to speak. So, so is this interview very very filtered? Not no. I mean, if I if it is filtered, then I should have been prepared. I don't get really prepared for interviews because yeah. it's better to speak from the heart and random. Yes. I, I even when someone is uh, like most of the managers will say you should ask what the questions they are going to ask. Yeah. So I say now if I prepare for interview, yeah. I am actually trying to say okay, abhi kabhi. You know, you are yeah. always thinking. So I more of an acting part. I just want to react to True. what you ask me, and uh, you have interviewed so many legends. <laughs> so if, um, yeah, I just want to react to what you ask me. Okay. So I am just the same, and that I think those expressions really might have helped me to do my <laughs> movies now. Absolutely, uh, yeah. I would agree Especially, to that. Especially yeah, yeah, because uh, <laughs> I remember even my Mahesh Bhat sir said, "Oh, cricket me karana, wo, wo expression chahiye wo wala." So you know, so it was. 
to start with to make me comfortable yeah then he said abhi thoda settle karo settle karo settle karo so you know so i learned that so i'm 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 grateful that uh, nobody really um, not like the old coaches they say yahi karna hai Hmm. It is much more comfortable in the movie field. Yeah, side. absolutely. And life is all about learning, no? Yeah, absolutely. You recently spoke about the Harbhajan Singh incident and the fact that he regrets that incident. <laughs> you saying that you've forgiven him for that incident. Absolutely. Right. You know, it's a story of letting go and moving on, isn't it? More than letting go, I think it was. See, it's something which happened in the family, and I always looked up to Bajipa because he's a legend. Hmm. When I played for the country, he's already won. I think. Uh, hundreds of games for the country hmm. so me being from a kerala and being a part of the dressing room where sachin paji and harbhajan singh and even for that matter even now we have become very good friends brothers but even now when bajiba calls me i think like okay we don't really when we have our fun but still bajiba sachin paji and most of them are in that group but yeah. but bajiba is more makes you as a brother yeah but uh, you know there is that uh, how do i say that relationship which is very sacred yeah and a lot of media just outbursted that incident rather than what yeah. exactly happened so he says regret but i i i i will tell him that it was good hmm. it was a good experience for me because i knew uh, the thin line between of foolishness and bravery so i always teach them to my people who are i whenever i do a conversation or a talking session or whatever chatting session or whatever i always say you should know that thin line between foolishness and bravery it is just that i played the game very aggressively the way i played against australia or uh, any other opponent for that matter right so he just became arbhajan singh and i became shri so that's it and that was over there there yeah. i'm i'm genuinely grateful that bajipa uh, in fact you know uh, told the apology on the same evening but media portrayed it in a very odd way obviously they want to sell something they will mm. take you to the ground but uh, as they say uh, phoenix bird you know rising from the ashes so yeah Yeah. Thanks to Bajipa. Thanks to Bajipa for all the support. Even now, even when I had, during my toughest times, he was somebody yeah. who kept in touch with me, and he said, uh, "Shri, you should not give up." And uh, I'm just genuinely grateful that I could meet such legends, and um, I call them my messengers. Yeah. You know, the messengers who helped me to be who I am. You know, and also in the journey, there are always ups and downs, but you, for one, never gave up. You, I mean, that's what I said even when I was introducing you. You kept coming back. you kept wanting to do something and did not go in a shell that in itself is also a lesson for a lot of people when things go wrong yeah i just want to tell you see as long as you're breathing you should not give up hmm uh, the worst thing that could happen is death that will that is not in your control uh, it can happen any time so something which i believe in it's the soul inside you hmm. should never ever regret being inside you yeah so the only way to do that is keep on going even yeah. you got a bad relationship bad job every exit hmm. is an entry somewhere else i believe and that somewhere else is a much better and brighter place they say if there is a lighted end of the tunnel no the tunnel might be something which is keeping you safe from the light sometimes right it might be too bright for you to handle so you got to wait you got to wait you got to wait you got to wait be patient so and just mm -hmm. when that light comes you will shine so bright that people will want to be with you be so good at your profession no matter what you do that they want to work with you they want to see more of you so that's something which i believe and uh, if anything wrong goes wow it's an experience if i don't get selected i still remember i never used to get selected i never used to get get upset hmm. i used to say okay people are going to be in the sun and training hard i will work hard so they will be tired and i'll get an opportunity and i'll destroy them so it was more like that so my mindset was very clear from the day when i think thanks to my mom dad and all those coaches and that's why i said including but everybody for that matter who are some way they will touch you yeah. uh, and you go to you go to observe them yeah. and absorb the best and like a sponge and leave it leave Absolutely. the rest yeah Wow, lots of life lessons coming in <laughs> in this just, conversation. <laughs> it is just, just you seem very enlightened. <laughs> I'm sure you must be, you know, following and watching all the yes, matches. Yes, yes, really. But when you're watching the match as an audience, do you also have like those expressions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do. I totally mean, I, I, I get because I'm see, I am a cricket fan first before yeah. a cricketer. Yeah. Like if you are a movie star, you, yeah. You are you are a movie star because you love movies. True. So you got to enjoy that. So I still just because you are a superstar doesn't mean you don't watch movies. Or some people do say it. That's what I'm, I was saying earlier. Yeah. We don't know what we are saying. Sometimes yeah. the youngsters are watching that. True. And people who get inspired by you might say, "Oh, what? No, you don't see. Why will I see?" So imagine your own movies. People are not watching. Yeah. Because even actor and actresses say, "I don't watch my own movies. I don't get time." <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> it's like this. So if I am not playing, that doesn't mean I don't watch. I watch a lot of cricket. I watch even even on the net and even YouTube. Even yeah. the local club matches. Sometimes when I'm having my food, I like to watch some matches, which you know. And right now I'm going to do be be doing um, star sports commentary. So I have to. Increase my knowledge about the new youngsters, and yeah. you won't believe I didn't even knew uh, the batter rule because it was batsman and batswoman, and that just changed a couple of years back. And when yeah. I made him come back in 2021, yeah. I was asking. I said the batsman played well, and they were like batsman. No, that has been changed to batter three. Okay, cool, equality. Ooh. So things like that. There <laughs> yeah. was there is a rule where the 25 over in a 50 over match mm. there is a 25 over ball on the other side. Yeah, new ball on the other side. But I never knew that. I thought the coach is making fun of me. So obviously, I am not ashamed to share all this because you learn, and True. I am I am ready to learn. So yeah. Yeah, and what's coming up now? I'll be doing the Star Sports uh, commentary for IPL. Uh, we are doing English, Malayalam, Hindi, Tamil, and Kannada. Okay. So I speak all these languages. So yeah. Wow. Yeah, and then there is this Tamil movie which is right now uh, shooting is going on, and uh, it should be in. There are two movies, so hmm. it should be in during Diwali and. Uh, Hopefully before Christmas, the two movies will be released. Okay, I'm going to ask about your team players and who's most likely to. Okay. Okay. Who's most likely to be scared of his wife? <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of the cricketers, <laughs> everybody, including me. It's not scared. <laughs> it's respect. I see. Okay. Who cracks the most lame jokes? <laughs> <laughs> Bajiba. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who's the biggest foodie? Suresh Raina. Okay. He loves his food. He's got his own restaurants. He's got two restaurants in Delhi, and he's got a restaurant in Amsterdam also. Right. Okay. Well, who's always on the phone? On his phone. Very hardly I see uh, cricketers on the phone. Uh, really? Maybe maybe because dressing room and phones are not allowed. Oh yeah. Off dressing room maybe. Uh, Oh, who's dying to get into phone? Everybody, man. Yeah. <laughs> because everybody, because uh, when the once the match is over, ka, ka phone guy, phone guy. Okay, because man. everybody wants to talk to the family or. Yeah. कि मैंने क्या किया कमेंट्री ने क्या बोला तो. Yeah. Most of them want to do that. So yeah. I can't. Everybody. Okay. Uh, who's a party animal? Now. Now, Legends League. We want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Who still has the party animal alive inside them? <laughs> Party animal. I don't know. I don't know anybody. You can't reveal these details now for us. Uh, yeah, because married and uh, <laughs> happily settled with kids, <laughs> we don't really party. We love to spend time with our family in a uh, holiday vacation. Most mostly Maldives or. Yeah. Ravi uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shastri sir yeah? and Wasim Akram. They love to party. <laughs> Who's a very good dancer? Oh, Bajipa is a good, very good dancer. Really? Yeah, Bajipa is a very good dancer. Uh, Virat Kohli is a brilliant dancer. Yuvipa is a very good dancer. I think uh, in the future, which I've seen is, uh, I think uh, Shreyas Iyer. I think he is yeah. is really good. Tell me when you guys win a match, go to the dressing room and just we, yeah, start we, dancing. Yeah, yeah, we do, yeah, we do, we do. Yeah, we do. I mean, it's <laughs> nice to see they continued the tradition. Yeah. Because before, when I was dancing, I was like, "What are you doing? Yeah, I won one match." The tournament just like that. But when you are dancing, they were like, "Ah, okay, 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 you can do it." So it was more like that. So I had to literally hide. Thank God there was not many social sites then. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have got into much more trouble. Yeah, no viral videos, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who does the best mimicry? Uh, Virat Kohli. Brilliant. Virat, really? Brilliant. He does mimicry. He is brilliant. Yeah. He's brilliant. <laughs> okay. He's brilliant. He does. Given that you are an actor, can you do a mimicry of one of the cricketers before we let you go, uh, and then we can let you go and take your flight? <laughs> yeah, मार, मुझे मार देंगे यार सीरियसली यू नो वट नेक्स्ट टाइम यू डूइंग विराट कोहली और हुआ मेक हिम डू यू वी यू वी पा यू विराट सिंह ओह ओके ही इज गॉट द स्टाइल ऑफ दिंग सो यू पा वॉक्स लाइक दिस नो ठीक है Shant, <laughs> it's been lovely Thank talking you to much. you. Thank you. I'm just worried about that flight. Yes. So guys, keep watching Early Tales and Thank yeah, you. <laughs> keep keep subscribing, keep <laughs> believing, and uh, whatever you do, keep believing and don't give up. If I can, you can. Anybody can, and uh, not just in sports, arts, whatever you want to do, just do it. As long as you're not hurting anybody, physically, spiritually, and mentally. God bless. Thank you so much. Wonderful.